Welcome to Spoken Reviews, home of the Spoken Reviews. Today, guys, we're going to do a quick video on the paint quality of the 2022 Texas built Model Y with the 4680 batteries. And to do the video today, we're going to be using this uh, coating thickness gauge off of Amazon. Uh, it's called the VVV Group coating thickness gauge. Uh, product number is going to be CM. 205 FN. Uh, we picked this one because it had some really good reviews uh, and the price was about 60 bucks. So good quality, great reviews for a very affordable price. Now the average uh, microns for auto paint is going to be anywhere from 96 to 122. And that's whenever you look across the industry. Again, 96 to 122 should be the average. So what we're going to do for this video is we're going to start and we're going to pretty much do each panel. So we're going to do the the back panel to see what the thickness is here. We're going to do uh, the panel here. We're going to do the door, the door. We'll do the front to see what the thickness is for the front. And then we'll do kind of similar on the other side. We'll do the sides and both doors in the back. So we'll basically get a chance to see what the thickness is all around the vehicle. And then we'll... Uh, Put up some comparisons. Um, we'll also compare it to, we have the 2021 Toyota Highlander, uh, which would be a good comparison because Toyota is known for having great paint shops. Uh, yeah, so it should be, should be really good. All right, we're gonna start with the back. Uh, first reading is gonna be 117, so really good. Again, we're looking for 96 to 120. So 117 is gonna be high quality. Here we go. 112 so again really good so let's go to the back door all right looking at 172 so really 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 good front door okay it's 103 there so let's try another spot on the front door 179 let's go a little bit lower 160, and then let's kind of go back to where we were. 116, so yeah, interesting. Uh, let's go for the hood. 170, and these are the spots that you really do want it to be nice and thick because on the highway you're getting a lot of impacts. 157, and one more spot in the hood. 124, yeah, so really good. Um, let's go ahead and try the panel here. So 102, so still above that 90 that we're looking for. 126, okay, so yeah, it's good, solid. Mm -hmm. 143, so again, really good, and that's what we're looking for. And 145, yeah, so um, overall, I mean, visually, I've been looking at this for a week now, it's looking visually, I mean, flawless to the, to the eye. I haven't washed it yet, but I've just been using the little Meguiar's uh, detailing spray with the microfiber cloth to wipe it down after I, I go on the road, but I mean, I haven't seen any issues visually. Uh, but it is uh, reaffirming to see that the um, thickness itself is actually, um, you know exactly what we want it so so one thing that we will mention and we'll throw in here is uh elon's tweets about just the quality coming out of germany and what they're going to be expecting so basically he said various times and tweeted that the paint quality from germany is going to be you know world class basically be the best paint of any uh, auto company ever uh, he hasn't mentioned giga texas in that so a lot of people have been curious is, hey, if Germany's going to get all these, you know, massive improvements, what's going to happen with the U.S. and, you know, the future being Giga Texas? Um, but like I can say, uh, just through my experiences with the vehicle, it has been you know, absolutely flawless and super impressive. Uh, I've seen some just horror stories coming out of Fremont of 2022s where people have been complaining about, you know, fit quality and gaps and all types of issues. And I can, I can proudly say that the, the Giga, Te Giga Texas one, um, and again, this is one of the first, first 1700 
out there coming out of Texas. I haven't had any of those issues. So yeah, very interesting. All right, so now let's do a little quick comparison against the 2021 Toyota Highlander. Again, Toyota's you know top dog in quality and manufacturing processes. So let's see what we got. So the first reading, 141, so solid. Let's go to the door. Reading is going to be 162. So yeah, I mean, really impressive and a little bit, a little bit thicker than the Tesla. And we're going to see 173. So yeah, really, really good. Um, and this is actually kind of funny. So this actually, it comes with a clear bra. So it's kind of cool that the Toyotas have that. But you can see it's crazy how thick, right? So with that clear bra, it's 314. So you can see how much thickness you get. So 314 with the clear bra, and then without the clear bra up here back to regular 141 so impressive uh, just to see that comparison of how the tesla uh compares 152 to uh to you know a comparable vehicle that people with families 139 would get so this is something that you could technically cross shop right 121 so yeah um very interesting to kind of see how the the new giga texas paint compares to a to a toyota highlander yeah, but uh, I think, again, I would say that the Toyota paint, it's still better than the Tesla paint as of now. So Tesla hasn't quite caught up to the Toyota quality, uh, but it's, I mean, it's really good and it's, it's really solid, especially compared to the other uh, plants that, that Tesla's making them. All right, yep, that was just a quick overview of the paint quality. Uh, we had a lot of comments and questions about about the paint quality on the YouTube comments and also on Reddit and some of the Tesla Facebook groups I'm a part of, so I wanted to go ahead and uh, put that out there. But like you can see, guys, if you're concerned about the paint quality coming out of Texas, you know, firsthand experience, it is phenomenal. It's, it's, it's fantastic uh, to the eye, but also whenever you do the measurements with this little guy here, it just can, kind of confirms that it's uh, definitely high quality coming out of Texas. Uh, super, super proud to, to have that as a, as a Texas is my home state, so it is very nice to kind of see. Uh, just the quality and just the progression of a factory coming out of texas anyways guys thank you for watching this quick video if you like the video hit the like button for me if you have any questions or comments leave them below if you have any other ideas about hey spoken reviews do a video on abcd put it down in the comments below i'll try to get to it and i'll try to especially it's the weekend now so i'll definitely try to get to it and, and put out the video content uh, and answer some of the questions that people are that are cross shopping the teslas that are on the edge, I definitely want to be helpful for you guys to help you guys have the information to make the, the best decisions. All right, guys, thanks a lot, and you have a great day.